Last night I said that in our psycho-spiritual process our starting point is within the realm of time, space and passing. And our goal for which I use the term supreme nominal entity is beyond the reach of time, space and passing. Now, in course uh, this occult practice, the bondages of meditative principle, <coughs> static principle and sentient principle become loose. Now, when the bondage of static principle disappears, the aspirant enjoys a particular nature of bliss. There, that is in that stage, there remains no static bondage, but the bondages of mutatic and sentient principles are there. Then again, the bondage of mutative principle disappears. And finally when the bondage of sentient principle disappears, man becomes one with his object of ideation. Now when the primordial page when, after starting from the physical sphere, the man, the aspirant, is just to cross the cordon of static principle, he enjoys a special nature of pleasure. You may say pleasure because it is not the supreme beatitude, but it is a distorted form of beatitude, not purely pleasure, something higher, something subtler, something more charming, more beautiful, more fascinating than pleasure. That enjoyment, that psycho-spiritual enjoyment is known as Dasha in Sanskrit. In Dasha page, the aspirant enjoys a sort of inner pleasure, but his sensory or motor organs fail to express it. Even the language is too weak to convey the experience. That stage of human mind is called dasha. It tries to express something, but his vocal cord cannot produce the sound. In that stage she may create a sound like oh, like this, but no definite language is expressed. Just when the aspirant crosses the cordon of the supreme point, static point, just to the other side, he feels another type of pleasure. 
and in that case it is a subtle arpeggio in that case he feels that he is with his goal he is with the supreme entity and the universe is also there but he feels that he has become a strong person physically mentally spiritually and under such circumstances he doesn't care a fig for what the world says this phase is called bhava when a man is in bhava he will easily it will be very easy for you to understand it because there will be certain expression not in the vocal cord but from here uh, and perhaps you have seen baba baba saying like this have you seen it uh, because the expression comes from this point <coughs> then when the parent crosses the cordon of the mutative principle that stage is known as bhava samadhi in that phase he feels that he is with his cosmic goal there is no universe at that stage he knows the entitative existence of the universe but he feels that he is with his lord he enjoys divine bliss but it becomes very difficult for him to express it that is he cannot express it this phase of bhava samadhi and in the final phase when he crosses the jurisdiction of change and principle he feels that there is no duality that is the duality he and his lord this duality disappears he feels there is only one existence he is or the lord is i am with my lord i am lord this duality disappears now all other higher samadhis this is called mahabhava all other higher samadhis are experiences of different experiences of this mahabhava it depends on the style of ideation but when one attains the stance of mahabhava it is not at all difficult or impossible for him to enjoy other kinds of samadhi not bhav samadhi but actual samadhi that is the highest form of samadhi but all the samadhis which are beyond the boundaries of sanction principle are qualified samadhi attributional samadhi and the mind remains either in the form of microcosm or in the form of macrocosm that is the ectoplasmic stuff is there but when he brings his mind to a pointed form to a pinnacle form to an apex form the mind that the plasmic stuff disappears due to extreme concentration and under such circumstances 
the supreme cognitive faculty remains. This is called non-qualified, non-attributional samadhi, nirvikalpa samadhi in Sanskrit. <coughs> By dint of japa kriya, japa, one attains the attributional stage of samadhi, and by dint of one one's dhyana, one attains the not non-attributional <coughs> stance of samadhi, which is the goal of each and every individual of this universe. You should know it, and you should do it accordingly. <coughs>